Hey everybody, Gears here. And there's nothing like a passive silver to really show you how shitty of a finish job that you've got going on with something. And in this case, it was really far worse condition than I had thought was going on with this dome. So I gave it a little black overcoat to help mitigate the silver. And what I'm going to do now is tackle this with some sandpaper for a little while, get rid of the very worst of it probably put a little bondo into the body here and there or the dome rather and uh, just fill up some of the more egregious dents that are going on some of them I don't mind because being exposed to the elements as I planned for this it's gonna get hammered by little rocks and road debris hitting it all the time but there's a couple scratches that I don't know if they're really gonna show up in the camera here I can't see what's going on it's so bright like I say, there's some I don't mind, like this guy here probably isn't too bad, but I might fix that. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I really should have washed it before I put the silver down because, as you can see, some of it just started bleeding all over the place. So I was hoping that I could just throw some silver down and start masking for the blue or the green now. I might even go with red. Here's a couple alternate choices that I'm looking at right here. I might go with a basic brass dome, I might go with green and brass, red and brass, or silver and green, I don't know yet, we'll see how it goes. I do have a little bit of blue here and I might have a different can of blue hopefully sitting around. So like I say, I'm going to do some uh, painting right now and some sanding and stuff and I'll catch up with you in a minute. And here we are with uh, probably half an hour with 600 grit and thousand grit on top of that fully wet sanded it's soaking wet now from being rinsed off and a line like this tells me that that is probably not going to go away that's one of the three seams from which the dome was uh, molded there's the other one right there and it does look like I missed some of the uh, black paint spill right there so I'll have to go over this a little more it's already starting to dry out really nice and I think I'm going to give it a brass pass. I'm kind of low on silver so I don't really want to uh, spend all of that right now if I don't like the brass. I could certainly always go out and buy more. I'm kind of unemployed and broke right now so I want to use whatever's on hand to the best advantage possible. The bottom layers definitely went down nice. There was a lot of work to do there and it uh, looks like I'll do a little more sanding on this. And here we are with another sanding. It should be a few more minutes before the water dries, and then I'm going to give it some brass, I think. If I don't like the brass, I will go with silver. The basic idea is to do the metal pass first, then mask that off for the color panels, and then go with another metal pass. My idea is that once this gets starting to be chipped down, I don't want, like if it, if I do all the color all at once, I don't want this area to chip down and reveal the color. There's still a few more scratches here, but I don't mind those. I can live with them. And then the metal finish, uh, I want to be really, really thick. Well, thick with a number of coats rather than thick with a couple single coats. And before I unmask the color panels, I'm going to seal those to help uh, protect them too. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you in a minute. And here is the first pass. You can still see through to some of the other colors that were there. So I didn't go too heavy. This is definitely going to look nice. I'm going to have some real trouble choosing between brass and silver, I think. I think the brass will go with my car really well. I'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes, rotate it in the sun the whole time, help cook it in, give it another coat, then we'll see if I wait another 20 minutes and do a third coat today. A lot of everything that was obvious in the silver pass is definitely not visible at all, so I imagine that my sanding helped out on that as well as the bath. There's a couple major scratches right here that are probably still visible. 
But like I said, I don't mind a couple here and there, but there were a lot more before. So yeah, let's uh, let this sit for a while and get back to it with another pass. And then I figured we may as well see what this looks like while we're waiting with some red. Red might go too much with the car, being red stripes and all. I don't want to go with green, I don't think, simply because then it gets kind of Christmassy with the red stripes and the green droid. And I'm going to see how those two colors look with the brass. I imagine the red will go better. I do have a little blue. I already know what that's basically going to look like. So I'll probably skip that. But, uh, and then I thought, why not brass and silver? But I'll have some silver parts on that anyway. So this is definitely going to need a little while to dry. I went a little thick on this. Doesn't appear to be any problems with it yet. Once that gets a lot drier, I'll move it and uh, go for the next pass on the dome. And so here we are with two coats on everything. Two coats of silver, two coats of the red, and the second coat of the brass, which is heavier than that first pass. We'll see how it goes with the next pass. What I think I'm going to do next, though, is tape off all the panels for red. Maybe I'll come up with another color by then. We'll see. But I think the red is going to work out. It looks kind of nice sitting next to each other right there. Green could work, maybe. We'll see. I got ideas. And I'm going to let this cook here in the sun for the next couple days. I'll be back by the weekend. I want this to be fairly good and solid before I do any more work on it, the brass that is. There's already a little pollen settling on the finish, so I'll probably have to go over that with, uh, I got some 1500 grit with me. So I'll do that not to, I don't want to harm this brass finish too much. But yeah, I think that's about it. The color panels are next. Let those cook for a day, seal them. So if I do the colors on Saturday, Matt seal those on Sunday. I can peel that up by Monday and if I'm not working by then I can throw some brass down and get this guy on display in my car like I want to. I think the silver and the brass pieces are really going to look nice together. I do have a couple other parts I need to get such as the two buttons for the back there and I'm going to need to come up with some clear plastic for the uh, blinky eye there and the blinky eye here the red and blue yellow and green on the back I'm not gonna light this up at all yet that's for another time another session another day the goal here is to get this basically installed in the car so I can drive around with it lights electronics later on maybe I'll do those at the next R2 get together down in uh, Yorba Linda so that's it for this one Thanks for watching. See ya.